Well, I see there is a comment on uh, the cleaning industry how-to forum on LinkedIn, and the person was at, uh, made a comment that they're struggling with bidding new construction projects for commercial building. You know, and that's a question I often get asked uh, about post-construction cleanup. And, you know, the simplest way to, to go about uh, determining your price is either knowing your production rates or the time that it's going to take to, to do the post-construction. And, you know, that can be a challenge because if you have a three-phase construction cleanup, you're going to have to know the, off, uh, the production rates or the times of the, all three phases. So, commonly on a, on a three-phase, you got the rough, the light, and the, and the, the final clean. And you may also have a, a two-phase, to where you might just have a rough clean and a final clean, or a light clean and a final clean. So it's really going to uh, depend on what the what your customer wants. But uh, let's say for an example that we're doing a final clean. Uh, that there is just going to be a one-time clean. We're going to go in and do a detailed clean. We're going to perform all the, the tasks that the person wants done. You know, any floor work, windows, and things like that, we're going to charge extra for that. But as far as just the post-construction cleanup of the, of the general cleaning of the cleaning task, um, we need to know our production rate. So uh, from tracking my production rates, I know for a fact that my final clean rate is 150 square feet per hour. So knowing that, all I need to know is the cleanable square footage of, of the, the facility. So for example, let's say we're doing a 15,000 square foot building and my production rate is is a 150 square feet per hour. Well, then that tells me that it's going to take 100 hours to complete that task of doing the post-construction cleanup, just a one-time final clean. So that's great. But, uh, you know, how am I going to price that? Now, am I going to price it by the hour? Uh, you know, I could. I could price $25 per hour, which is $2,500. You know, or if uh, I want, I can actually price that by the square foot. So, and by tracking my square footage prices on all my post-construction cleanup phases, I actually know that my rate would be, <coughs> would be uh, 18 cents per, uh, per square foot for this project, which would mean that my price for the project would be $2,700. The one thing that really makes this, uh, uh, would really make this whole bidding and estimating for post-construction cleanup much easier mm -hmm. is if you have a tool. And on uh, the janitorialstore.com, we actually have a post-construction bidding calculator, and it just makes the whole process so much easier. I'm going to go through an example uh, of that 15,000 square foot building. So when you get on the calculator, you enter in the cleanable square footage, 15,000 square feet, and then you've got a choice. You can do one phase, two phase, three phase cleaning, or any combination of them. Uh, so here we're going to do just a, a one-time final clean. So I entered in my production rate of 150 square feet. Uh, it tells me that's going to be 100 hours to complete the, jo the job. And then uh, it's, uh, you know, I priced it out at the 18 cents per square foot and $25 uh, per hour. So that's how I arrived at my price points of uh, $2,700 for the project based on my, uh, how I'm pricing it. What I also did is I entered in uh, cleaner's wages because even though we got our price point established now, that's all fine and good, but we really need to know what our, what our profit's going to be, you know, because after all, that's what we're in business for, and we're in business to make a profit. So, and uh, the only way we know that is if we back out our labor and all of our expenses, and that's something that everybody should, every business owner should be doing so they know what their actual profit is on any project that, that they're doing, rather than just guessing at it. So on this project, you know, I I put in seven cleaners because I want to uh, uh, get the job done in two days. So uh, each day we'll probably put in about uh, seven and a half hours or so. But the total uh, the total man hours for each cleaner is going to be about 14.29 hours. So I put in uh, six cleaners at $12 per hour, and then I, I'm going to have a supervisor at $16 per hour. So the, the uh, Calculator is going to uh, calculate my labor rate, which is going to be one thousand two hundred fifty-seven dollars and fifty-two cents. So that makes it easy. And then from there, I'm just have I have to enter in my my percentages or my dollar amounts for all of my expenses, such as uh, uh, FICA and Medicare, my you know all my taxes, unemployment, state and, state and federal unemployment, uh, liability insurance, you know workman's comp, overhead, and all those things. So I'm calculating all my expenses and supplies. You don't want to for forget supplies. So after I've done that, it's telling me that my total expenses are $1,997.96.
So that's great. So I know what all my numbers are now. And I also know where I'm at on my profit. So if I were to price this project at, at the 18 cents per square foot, um, then I know that my price is going to be $2,700 per $2,700 for the project. My costs are $1,979.96, which means I have a profit of $720.04, or 26%. So that's fantastic. I know I'm profitable on the project based on my per square foot pricing. Now the same is true when I price it per hour at the $25 per hour. Uh, my price for the project is going to be $2,500 per uh, $2,500, and my expenses still remain the same of the uh, $1,979.96. But my profit actually drops, so uh, my profit dollars are going to be $520 to, uh, $520 and four cents, or 20% profit. So you know we're both uh, you know both profitable. Um, you know, so either one of these prices would be fine. I think how I would determine which price point to go with, since I know they're both profitable, is my conversation with the uh, with the contractor that I'm doing the work for. And if I feel that it's price driven or I'm in a competitive uh, uh, situation, well, then I may want to go with my per hour price, where I'm only making 20% profit. Uh, you know, if if not, if I feel comfortable that uh, they're they're looking for uh, quality work, then I, maybe I'll go with my per square foot price of the where I make 26%. So anyway, that's how you can arrive at a price point for your post construction cleanup and be able to know that your the project's actually profitable at that price point. So I hope this helps you. And uh, if you got any more questions, just let me know. Be happy to uh, share my information with you.